So have you started planning for next year yet? Not sure where to start. Keep watching. Hey everyone, it's Audra with Pathfinder Strong. And today I present to you the end of year audit, which is basically just a fancy way of saying, let's think back of what we did last year to help us make informed planning decisions for this year. <laughs> So I've got three things that I want you to think about to help you plan. Number one, identify what things from last year worked. So what worked? Why did it work? Is it worth repeating? Is it something that if you repeat it immediately next year, it's, it's going to be boring for the kids, like you need to wait a few years to repeat it? Or is it something that's gonna be a standard item that you do every year because it worked out so great? So I have a list of standard items that I do every year because I know they work and they're okay to repeat every year, like uh, a discovery day on a Sunday morning and a service night and quarterly reward outings and spring dinner theaters and fall camping trips and uh, specific holiday fundraisers and Christmas caroling. And I've got videos about all those things, so you can go check that out. Planning tip number two, identify your low points. So think back to last year, what didn't work? Why didn't it work? Is it something you can fix? Like if, if you just tweak it a little bit, it would be fine to continue, or do you just need to scrap that idea? Like great idea, we tried it, but moving on. So here's a quick story about something I scrapped. One year we were doing a theme of Native American things we were doing Native American lore honor, and we went to this place called Spiral Mounds, and it advertised as like world famous Spiral Mounds, and it was like this cool museum and like walking trail and stuff. Well, it was terrible. All the artifacts they had were replicas. Um, it, it was like a total bust, it was so boring. So yeah, scrapped that, never doing it again. Planning tip number three. Think about what your dreams are. Like what is something that you've always wanna do with the kids, but you never have? Put it on the calendar now so it doesn't get missed. Have you ever wanted to take the kids to a specific place or do a specific thing, but it seemed out of reach? Like what do you need to do to make that thing a reality? Is it money? Is it time? Is it planning? Think about a step-by-step -step approach to make your dreams a reality. Maybe they're not a reality this year, but they could be within three years if you start taking step-by-step -step approaches to making those dreams a reality. So thinking about these things, identifying high points, identifying low points, and thinking about your dreams can lead you to picking a theme for your Pathfinder Club this year, which I've got a whole video about, please watch it. Since I've implemented themes in our club, it's made my life so much easier. And um, your theme can lead you to picking uh, what specific honors you want to do, what specific places you want to go, what specific outings and activities you want to do. And that can lead to picking a Bible verse that uh, goes with your theme for the year and can guide your purpose for the year. So someone wise and wonderful once said, not me, if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. So start planning now and make your next year amazing. If you have some great, wonderful, awesome idea for what you're gonna plan for next year, please share it. Comment below, like, subscribe. We'll see you next time.